Hi. The very best compliments of this season to you for a blessed, happy, prosperous new year. It has been a joyous celebration all year round, all over the world, the past few weeks. As we look at the Christmas season that ushered in the new year, all over there are a lot of messages flying around. Some have termed it a, name, a year of turnaround, a year of breakthrough, a year of new beginnings, restoration, so many names. We are here to say that whatever name you call it, it shall answer for you. And God indeed will do for you exceedingly abundantly above that which you have so proclaimed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A, a word that kept ringing in the Christmas story is joy to the world. It's one word that says, fear not, fear not, for the Lord has come. We see that in the accounts of the shepherds, as they received the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the angel said to them, fear not. And so, I read Luke 2, 10. Luke 2, 10. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. So, we want to look at the word fear not. Fear not. Of course, if you look at the news locally and internationally, the news is so bad that fear may want to grip you. So much uncertainty. You go to the market and you buy something. In fact, in the shop sometimes, they've told you the price you want to pay. They say, no, hold on, no, let me check. <laughs> and then and then they'll place a call and they'll tell you the price has changed. You are not certain. You are not sure. When I send my nanny to the market, I tell her, I said, please don't bother to call me to say the price is this, the price is that. I will not eat the money. Please buy as you see. Do your best and buy as you see. That is how fearful the world, our nation, and situations around us has become. The issue of insecurity is very high. You are not very sure of the next minute. But we are here to say, fear not. Fear not. The word fear means an alarm. It means anxiety. It means a, a dismay. It means terror. So much the news strikes terror in the hearts of those that don't know their God. It means to live in dread of, you know. You are not even sure. Just walking on the street, you are not sure. You hear of so many stable like this, that, and this. It means an unease, an uneasiness. It means a worry. It means horror. Consternation. An apprehensiveness. The, the list is endless. I don't want to dwell too much on the negative. That is just to let you know the temperature, the situation, in words of what is happening around us, what is transpiring around us. And if you want to look at the dictates, the realities on ground, definitely you'll be fearful. Definitely you, your heart will fail you. But the hymnal we have sung, it is well said that that is what we should say to ourselves. It's what we should say to our circumstances. It's what we should say to our nation. It's what we should say to everything around us that it is well. 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 
Why? Because Christ is in absolute, absolute control. Christ is in absolute control. And so if you are out there, you don't know Jesus, it will be more difficult because what will be your hope? What will you rely on? What will you hold on to? Those that have Christ and know him and depend on him have a hope. We can close our eyes and go to sleep knowing that, that there is someone out there, our shepherd, that does not sleep, that does not slumber, that watches over us, that cares for us, that we ensure that no evil comes on us. You, what are you holding on to? Jeremiah 1 8, the Lord said, there, He said, Be not afraid, be not afraid, for I am with thee. So we go into the new year, we go marching on all the days of our lives, knowing that He is there for us. And He has told us not to be afraid. In Ezekiel 3 9, He said, Fear them not. All the evil reports you hear, all that is happening. All the satanic gang up, whether it's an individual, a family, a nation, or nations of the world, he said, Be not afraid, fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. This is God's command to you in this new year and all the days of your life. And so, if you do not know Him, you can know Him. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. John 14:6. There, Jesus himself speaking, say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And so this morning, you don't know him, you can know him. You can accept him as personal Lord and Savior. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin, have mercy on me. The minute you say that, your sins are forgiven. Get a Bible. The Bible is God talking to you. It is from the word that you find strength, joy, peace. It is from the word of God that you'll be able to continue. It is from the word of God that you draw hope and inspiration. The news around is negative. But when you open your Bible, you hear God talking to you. You hear God encouraging you. You hear God telling you that it is well. It is well. It is well. Our first clip is a hymn now that said, It is well. 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 So the Bible is very, very important. When you read the Bible and you make what you read there your standard for living, your life can never, never be the same again. When men are crying, you'll be smiling. When they are weeping, you have strength to continue because you know that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And so the message is Jeremiah 1, 8, Be not afraid, for I am with you. Among the so many evil reports going on, God is saying, don't be afraid. He is with us. In Ezekiel 3, I say, fear them not. Let them be dismayed at their looks. Prayer is you talking to God as you speak mm, to your friend. Mm. However, in whatsoever way, speak the same in a referential way to God. He's listening. That is what prayer is all about. I like the Christian methodology of prayer. You can stand, you can pray, you can lie down. Any position you take, you can kneel, he will hear you. Jonah prayed in the belly of the fish, and God heard him. So any posture you take, God will hear you. And so this year, let's march on. Let's move on. Let's tell ourselves it is well. No matter the circumstance, no matter the situation, let's speak peace to it. Let us tell him, it is well. Do your best and leave the rest. That is what I have found now, and it is working for me. I do my best. After that, I just hand over to God. I say, God, they are bigger than this challenge. They are bigger than this problem. You can do it. You can make it. And I say to myself, it is well. It is well. With my home, it is well. With my heart, it is well. With my nation, it is well. With the nations of the world, it is well. It is well. It is well. It is well. It is your attitude that is the winning key. If you allow the news you hear to affect you, indeed, you'll be down. You'll have high blood pressure. You'll be unhappy. You'll be sad. 
But how long do we have to live on this earth that we can't be happy? Be happy. Be happy. Find joy. Leave those things that bring sorrow and joy and look for those things that make you happy and stay focused. Stay focused. This is not denying the fact that those trials are there. It is hard looking at it from a positive attitude. And from that positive attitude, you have strength and joy to move on. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May his containers of favor and of mercy never leave us all. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Vasia, Banner of Love Ministries International. We have a lot of messages loaded and still loading for you on YouTube. Just type the word E D I T H A T A K E <laughs> Church on the air. Banner of Love Ministries International and our messages will come up. It's good to listen to the palace gist and all the gist that is flying around. <laughs> but those ones, after after you come, you say those buggers, they don't they waste your body now lie that they lie. And it has no value. But the word, if you listen to the word, one word will change your life. One word will give you courage. One strength will make you your perspective to change and give you strength to be able to move on. Let's hear the word. Listen to the word. Tune in, subscribe, like, share. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages. Search the scriptures. Nation building, when you pray. And I pray there is a God to answer. The Lord bless you. A very, very, very best compliments of the season to you. Stay with us as we bring a few clips on the word. Fear not. Fear not. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you.